Hello and welcome to another Stracon 2022 video. This time on the topic fast and comfortable input of cube reinforcement into the model. For the input of cube reinforcement in the 3D model, this can of course be modeled easily and conveniently in Stracon itself, but can also be imported as an IFC model, for example, if another project participant has already created and exported this model. There's both the possibility of a pure IFC reference, as well as the import as objects, which behave as if they were modeled in Stracon. Also in the second case, there are several possibilities of how these objects can be placed in the model. Here we have inserted them in our model together with the project structure. Our task here is to reinforce only the base plates as an order and to return this reinforcement to the client as drawings and a model. For this purpose, the representation of the model and the project structure can be adjusted optimally and then we can start. For the edge of the plate, we work with a mesh as a standard U-shaped bending to which we assign a category, a type of mesh and different concrete coverings. In addition, we lay two rebars with the option running meters and a hook input on the edge. This edge reinforcement can now simply be copied to the other edges of the plate. A recess can also be reinforced very easily in top view. Lay the U-shaped rebar at one edge of the opening and then place more bars next to each other on the bottom and top of the plate at this laying edge. This combination can then be copied to other edges as well as the entire reinforcement to similar recesses. The required meshes can be laid from the same view on both the bottom and top of the plate. We use different categories here so that they can be handled separately according to bottom and top layer. The meshes can also be displayed as a substitute representation and with category colors. Using the view box or saved sets, we can quickly display only the desired reinforcement layer for the drawing and export it as a 3D view. Depending on the settings, the drawing can be created directly by placing the reinforcement text and labelings as an easily readable drawing. The information about the reinforcement item numbering from the drawing has now arrived in the model and is also displayed directly for the meshes. The reinforcement color scheme also provides the option of displaying previously not numbered reinforcement in a different color. This makes it very easy to keep an overview. 
If we now want to reinforce a similar base plate of the second building, this is also possible as seen before in smaller areas via the copy for the entire reinforced component. The currently set color display shows directly that the copied reinforcement is not yet numbered in the drawing. However, it is also a completely independent reinforcement via this way of copying, which can be adjusted with the standard editing functions. As requested by the client, we finally export the built-in reinforcement in IFC format and thus obtain a reinforcement model with all important information. The shown way of the initial IFC import is only one way to get the model to be reinforced. Of course, the entire modeling can also be done quickly and intuitively in Stracon. Using this precast column as an example, let us look at other quick ways of adding reinforcement. First, the processing of the foundation via standard functions of rebar and mesh reinforcement. Using the standard bending form, a horizontal stirrup is quickly inserted here and laid over the height. In the same view, with the set values such as diameter, spacing and concrete coverings, we can now create a crosswise laying with just one click and add hooks to it. A mesh is added to the top just as quickly. We would like to insert the further reinforcement of the column from the library, which can be easily filled by the user if required. Here a predefined system reinforcement layout that was entered in a previous project and saved to the library for example can be applied to similar components in the new project. Similar to the copy we got to know in the last example, this reinforcement is correctly linked to the component and can also be edited here afterwards. In order to be able to benefit from our manually entered foundation reinforcement for another similar column in the same or next project, we save it quickly and easily in the reinforcement library. In this round shaft, we want to complete the missing cube reinforcement via several ways of input. Another way of transferring reinforcement into the current model is to insert reinforced components. These can also have been saved in advance in a component library and are thus always available. If they contain so-called negative objects, the reinforcement already present can be changed by the placement, shown here using the example of a pump sump.
We simply enter the U-shaped rebar at the upper end of the shaft wall in a section and can then lay it around the complete circumference. The crosswise reinforcement shown in the previous example can also be laid without problems on the shell surfaces of round components. Changes to the diameter or length of the bars are of course also possible here. The component geometry can also be changed afterwards and the attached cube reinforcement adapts to the new dimensions. Using the last example of a stair flight, let us look at further possibilities for subsequent editing, plan representation and the data export of reinforcement. First we built in the reinforcement from the library again, but we insert it directly into the flex part. Dividing the library into catalogs makes the selection much clearer. The separation into individual reinforcement sections makes it possible to reinforce the staircase regardless of its length. Due to the inserting into the component, we can subsequently use it in other projects with complete reinforcement. We export the 3D view of a longitudinal section through the stair to the drawing with the automatic reinforcement adjusted. This means that all information on the reinforcement, including item numbering, is quickly contained in the drawing and bar representations or reinforcement schedules can be placed. Bar representations of rebars and meshes can either be created quickly via the smart click on an element or for example in one go as a simple group of rebars. The drawing can, of course, also be subsequently printed up. The reinforcement inserted in the flex part also takes part in every component modification and can then be immediately adopted in the drawing.
The reinforcement can be exported from Strakon in various formats. On the one hand, we can transfer the data in PXML format to a mesh welding and bending plant. For this purpose, rebar positions are combined into a mesh and exported, and then the production data can be checked for correctness in the work preparation process, both in terms of producibility and production optimization. The BVBS format offers another possibility for exchanging reinforcement data. The data can be generated when saving the drawing or manually as an ABS or BVB file. When publishing, the reinforcement data of several drawings can be generated directly. With these formats, direct further processing and production of the reinforcement already correctly planned in the model is made possible without additional access. And with Strakon, you are very well positioned on the topic of Industry 4.0. Try it out.